you are watching an Al Bear review. Cue the music. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? I'm here with the Black Ink Crew. Review recap. I'm late. I've been lazy, but it's all good though. Um, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit subscribe, like, comment, share, all that good stuff. But um, before I say this, uh, I feel like this show is just, it's just fake. And it, let me tell you why. Like, I know she from China, but you know, at the end of the show when, uh, Kit and uh, Bay was having their words because Bay was like, she heard Kit been talking about him, you know, et cetera, et cetera. She said she heard Bay was talking about her mama. Okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? You, you might be able to slide talking about mama. All right? You might, depending, you know, you might. But then she said she heard Bay was talking about her son, Nico. And, um, I don't know, like, if somebody talk about your child, you're supposed to be on go. Like, you know, it don't supposed to be no calm conversation, like, well, you know, I heard. No, okay, you might you might can get away with saying something about mama, because, you know, mama grown, I don't know, maybe. But you say something about somebody's child, like, no, you're just supposed to be on go from, from jump. Like, that's just what it's supposed to be. And it's not. And so, therefore, like, it just, I don't know, the energy just feel fake. But we'll start with that. So anyway, uh, early in the show, uh, Kit and Tati was having a conversation. Basically, Kit ain't said, well, the editing could be edited. But I didn't hear Kit say anything about this woman's son. Now, what she did say was, uh, she said that, you know, it's probably a good thing that Mama Bay is leaving because, you know, we don't have any budget to be paying two receptionists. And, you know, she's working because, you know, she ran up Bay credit cards, et cetera, et cetera. Like, I ain't here to say, and, and truth be told, as bad as that may sound, it don't really sound that bad when you think about it. You get what I'm saying? Because, first of all, I mean, they was doing Bay a favor by giving her mama that job to have, to have some money, but it just don't make sense to hire no one who English is that of Mama Bay. Like, she, she can't speak English. Like, she can say a couple words, but... She can't. I'm sorry. She just can't. You don't hire nobody and put nobody on payroll. They can't speak, uh, you know what I'm saying, the English language and we and you in New York. It just makes no sense at all. So I didn't have a problem with her saying it. And then she didn't really say it in a snarky, disrespectful type of way, but she just said it, you know, and Tati in her feelings because her and Ted you know, he don't want her back and she just trying to start some drama so she's not the only one in some drama um, on the show. And speaking of Tati, you know, she got big issues with, now she got an issue with Kit because she called Kit fake. She told Toki and Crystal, the new girl that she don't like neither one of them and she told Crystal she a relationship wrecker and I'm just like, I, I don't get it. Like, I, I just don't, you know, some things above my pay grade and it's one of them. Like, I don't understand why she feel the way she feel, but she needs to go have a conversation with Ted. And I, if she want him back that bad, get on hands and knees. Cause like just starting drama beef between others within the shop, you supposed to be the manager. You supposed to be setting the standard. You supposed to be, you know, better than them. And she would say, you know, don't nah starting beef and drama the wrong thing to do like so she my thing is with the show i don't really like do i like anybody on black ink new york i'm trying to think before i say i don't like nobody do i like anybody mm, i kind of like ted because he don't do nothing so that gives somebody that we could throw shots at you get what i'm saying don't like walt because he's a receptionist that i never see I never see him answering the phone or scheduling a tattoo. At least we know Ted's job description is to do nothing and get paid. But it seems as though Walt's job description is to do nothing and get paid. But that just, that's neither here nor there. Um, but that's that. You know what I'm tired of talking about Ty Ted. It's going to be real quick. Um, early in the show, Caesar uh, revealed the sky um, that, you know, he hired a lawyer to deal with uh, the whole Alex lawsuit situation. And they hired a... Um, private investigator and 
The news came back that Alex wasn't faking. Well, duh. We, we knew he wasn't faking. So now Caesar feel bad. You know, he kind of, you know, you know, he feel bad about the situation. And I mean, me personally, I don't think he should feel bad because he made a decision that he wanted to fight this man. And this man ain't had nothing to do with, well, he kind of did. He went dumb. But I don't think he should feel bad because I sincerely don't think he feel bad. He just more so worried about his assets than actually feeling bad because he really feel bad. This man really have a, has a case against him. And, but you know, he like he tore up about it. Okay, cool, whatever. And so, you know, um, he reached out to Alex to try to settle the whole lawsuit situation on the last week episode. I didn't do a review on it. Donald showed up. He wasn't too happy about that. And, um, but now that he got, come, you know, now that he know that Alex is for real, he, he feeling bad. Now, to move on from Caesar, let's move on to Ted. So, he was either, oh, Sky broke the news to everybody in the shop that, you know what I'm saying, Alex is really hurt, yada, yada, yada. And I felt like this would have been a perfect episode for Tatiana and, and Teddy to get back together just off of this. Because she did call him out and tell him that them beating up Alex was wrong. That they owe him an apology, or, you know, X, Y, Z. And to come to find out that his spine is actually damaged from them jumping him, Ted just sitting over there with his shades on, playing his beard unbothered. And... I don't know. It didn't bother me because Ted kind of like, we did what we did, you know, it's done. And plus, Ted ain't looking at being sued. He don't own Black Ink, so he's not even worried about it. But I felt like we could have rolled in because I'm not here. Look, I'm, listen, I love messiness. I love ratchetness. I love drama. But Tati starting drunk, junk between Bay and Kit. First of all, don't want to see it. Second of all, Bay didn't have a baby and got a little chubby, so she can't do that karate like she used to when she was a child over there in China and beat up Kit. Number three, my money on Kit, because Kit, I don't know, I just feel like Bay not a fighter. I don't think Kit a fighter either, but Bay can't do karate no more because she ain't gained a little weight. And he did, that's just my opinion. Nah, but, you know, to, to do karate, you know what I'm saying? You got to be, y'all yeah, see them Chinese people, they be little. You know what I'm saying? Like, they got they pick. You know, be able to lift the leg up over somebody's head. And all they do is wear little skimpy dresses, man. I don't think she can fight. But, I mean, I don't think Kit could fight either. But, if, you know, if, you, if, if if I'm picking somebody to win, I'm picking Kit. Because I think Kit, she's a black woman and she has mastered, even if she never done it, she's mastered the art of dragging a whole body hell by watching people fight, by watching women fight. Black women, if they can't do nothing else, they know how to grab Hal and drag you. So that's why I'm picking Kid. But anyways, back to the whole Ted and Tati. It would have been the perfect time to let him make up. Because like now we know that Alex is really messed up. This would have been the perfect opportunity to fix the situation. But I guess VH, uh, not v, I guess VH1 seen it different. You know, they were just like, Ted was just unbothered. Yada, yada, yada it is. You know, whatever, whatever, whatever. So... And that was that. Now, I will say this on this episode, I was extremely excited. Well, Donna pissed me off because, you know, um, the show kicked off. Alex got to move in with Donna because he can't work. It don't make sense for him to pay two different uh, sets of rent, etc., etc. Like, you know, Blige, Blige. So now Donna done apparently stepped up as, you know, she, she's the provider. She's doing things for Alex and making sure his son is straight and. You know, whatever it is that Alex needs. And Alex is not comfortable with that. Uh, you know, he's you know, he feeling less of a man, yada, yada, yada. And me the whole time, like, that's the least she could do. I mean, it is her fault that your back is, you know, messed up. Like, if she could just learn to keep her mouth closed and not go after the boss. And now don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Season 10. If we if, if, if we got three people putting blame, if I have to spread the blame out, I'm going 80% Donald and 20% Caesar and Ted. I'm just, I'm, I'm just kidding. Because if you've been watching the Black Ink show, which I have, I don't know when I'm going to start watching it. But ever since Donna been working for Caesar, it's always some level of disrespect and back and forth between the two. 
And Caesar could never take it out on Donna because he didn't want to hear her. I'm going to just give him the benefit of the doubt. You, you know. So she got a boyfriend, a consistent boyfriend. So he took it out on him. So that's why I get down to 80% of the blame. But anyway, so now she's the sole provider. He's uncomfortable, yada, yada, yada. So later on in the show, I was so proud of Alex because he finally stood up and, and you know what I'm saying, relayed the message I wanted him to relay. Because I know he thought about it. Now, he a good man because he just not saying it. But she was taking him to... Uh, you know, uh, some pottery thing. I don't know to take his mind off of not being able to tattoo and all this stuff like that. Okay, cool, whatever. So they get there. Now he was faking. Now he said he couldn't sit down in the chair because the chair was too low. Now it was a regular chair. And I'm sorry if he able to get his butt in bed at nighttime and lay down. And he, you know, he sit his butt in that dog chair. Also, he was sitting in the so you know, on the sofa or the, the the chair at Donna House while she was bringing them boxes upstairs. So I mean, but he. He, you know, he was just ready to lash out. So next thing you know, he lashed out. He said, you know, you should have thought about this, but we came here. You didn't think this through. This is just dumb. You know, boom, boom, boom. All that type of sense, all that type of energy. Then he goes as far to finally saying, you know, he should have never came to Black Ink. He should have never messed with her in the bathroom stall. He should have never made her his woman and all that. And she was just like, are you blaming me? Damn right he blaming you, as he should. Who, who else to blame? Like I said, well, 80% Donald, 20% Caesar and Ted. You know what I'm saying? But, and then too, what threw me off early, I'm going to come back to that at that point, but earlier in the episode, Donald was like, I know Alex feeling bad, but once his lawsuit clear from Caesar, we going to be good. I'm tired of her using the word we. I'm tired. That man took it. He need to sue her too. I don't know what, he can sue her for something. You, you know, But he need to sue her too because like I said, he went off and told that he that she the reason that he in this situation, and I wholeheartedly agree. I I, I do, but um, she don't like that. She don't want to hear that. See, I don't know. She got to take some type of responsibility as to her role and all of this. She just want to put all of it on Caesar and Teddy and soon, which is fine with me as well. You know, I don't mind nobody trying to get their money, but uh, Donna, I don't like Donna. I really don't. And I do believe her and her consistent beef and issues with Caesar has caused build up in Caesar and they jumped him. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, um, what else happened on this show? Anything in Sky Grand, Re Grand opening was a huge success. It was much bigger and whatever other words you want to use than her original one. Um, Safari showed up. Charmaine from Black East Chicago showed up. And she trying to make amends with Sky because, you know, she hosted the little, I guess, top 10, 50 Black Ink moments. I don't know. And she said something about uh, Sky, you know, one, one thing worse than Sky Weave and Sky Men. Like, that don't really sound that bad to me because Sky Hat don't never really be laid like that to me. Like, she look good. Her hair look nice sometimes, but it don't really be laid like that. And so, Sky went on Instagram, did a whole live talking about a few years ago, Charmaine was a bum. And I was just like, yeah, I mean, a few years ago, you was a bum too, fighting people in Black Ink just for attention. And you, Caesar, gave you a job. And next thing you know, you and him and Ted, y'all brother, sister, y'all can't, you know, y'all can't be separated. It, it's funny how people forget those humble beginnings. It's just so, it's so funny. But anyway, her grand opening was nice. It was a big turnout, which is what she wanted. But other than that, um, I ain't gonna even talk about that nonsense of a party they threw for Mama Bay. That was just a whole bunch of nonsense. It just a whole bunch of nonsense. And, but Bay Mama had to go back home to Korea, China, Japan, wherever she from. And so they had a little moment there at the end of the show. You know, I miss you, whoop de whoop. And I, I ain't really care nothing about none of that because I don't watch Black Ink to see Bay and her mama at all. I just don't like. We need to get back to the tattooing and drama within the shop between the cast members and that's it. That's the only thing I want to see. But all in all, it was a decent episode. That's all I have. If you're new, be sure to subscribe. Everybody else, be sure to like, comment, and share. And I'm out of here.